For the next eight weeks, we're exploring some of the one another texts in the New Testament, asking the question, how should Christians treat other people? Our first one another text comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. Here Jesus gives us a new commandment. He says that we should love each other just like he has loved us. This command is new because in dying on the cross, Jesus is opening a new way of doing life, and the command to love each other sits at the heart of that new way. In this passage, Jesus uses the Greek word agapeo for love. This describes a kind of selfless and sacrificial love that unconditionally puts the other first. This is the word used oftentimes in ancient Christian writings to describe God emptying himself to our level so that he can raise us up. And while this was a common word in the New Testament, it was almost completely ignored by the world outside of Christians in the ancient world. For the rest of the world, love was another Greek word. It was eros. Eros is a Greek word that describes a kind of love that says, I love you because of what you do for me. In a world characterized by eros, Jesus calls us to be an agapeo people. The Lord provides two ready examples of what agapeo looks like. First, at the beginning of John chapter 13, just before our text, he lays down his power and prestige to take up the position of a slave and wash his disciples' feet, calling them to follow in his example, calling us to follow in his example. Second, just after Jesus commands his followers to love each other like he loves us, he demonstrates that love by dying on the cross. This has been your two-minute summary for week one of Me and You. Have a great discussion.